Hey guys, so I am just about to start my sourdough bread and I wanted to make some bagels too, but I don't want to make any like mixer or dirty or anything. Um, so I am actually going to try to make some sourdough bagels with just the normal sourdough recipe. So the, the same recipe that I'm going to be using just for sourdough bread, I'm going to just do the same thing, the same method and everything for the sourdough bagels and then just at the end instead of splitting them into two balls to get two um, like loaves, I am just going to separate them into bagels and make bagel shapes and then we are going to just make them the way that I always do. So I don't usually talk about what I do with my starter but obviously I fed my starter a couple hours before this and then I just let it get all active and bubbly and then i put 200 grams in the bowl for the sourdough bread and then half of that so 100 grams in another bowl that's what we're gonna do for the bagels and then normally this is when i add the warm water which is around 650 grams for the full recipe but i had some extra whey from making cottage cheese so i just kind of split that in between the normal recipe and the bagels and then i'm adding 20 grams of salt to the normal recipe that i'm making the loaves from and then obviously 10 grams of salt to the halved recipe that i'm making the bagels with so there's 950 grams of flour in the normal recipe so whatever half that is that's what i did for the bagels and sometimes i will do some of it whole wheat and some of it white but this time I just did white. Then I'm mixing that together just until combined and then just doing the stretch and folds which I'll link to the video of where I actually make my sourdough so you guys can see how I do that. It's the next morning and I just put these in the fridge last night. This is the double recipe for my sourdough bread and then this I just have the recipe and I'm going to use this for the bagels just to kind of test it out. So I started this dough a little bit late the night before so I didn't get to do as many stretches and folds as I normally would and I didn't let it bulk ferment for as long. So it didn't rise as much as it would normally but it should be fine because I'm going to let them rise again after I form them. So I'm splitting this dough into four pieces and then those pieces into three pieces. So there will be 12 bagels. To make the bagels, I pretty much just make a ball like I would be making a bun. And then I'm just going to poke a hole in the middle to make it a bagel. And this dough was pretty wet, so it just kept on sticking to my hand. So I'm just putting some more flour on it. So I covered the dough with a towel and then I let them proof in the oven with the light on and then and now I'm going to turn the oven on and start baking. My baby is now six months old, so we are starting her on solid foods. So while I'm waiting for the water to boil for the bagels, I am feeding her and then also I'm scoring my sourdough bread and then I'm gonna bake that in the oven downstairs while I boil the bagels and then bake those upstairs. When the water started to boil, I put in a tablespoon of baking soda and a tablespoon of brown sugar and then just mix that a bit and then put a couple of the bagels in there, boiled it for a minute 
and then flip them over and boiled it for another minute and then put it back on the tray. And then I just pat it down with a paper towel just to get rid of the excess water. I can already tell as I'm just like putting the bagels into the trays that they're a lot lighter than what my normal bagels are. Now you can just leave them plain if you want to, but I really love to use some of this Trader Joe's everything bagel seasoning to make some everything bagels and they are really good. And then I bake that at 425 degrees for 20 minutes. Good morning everyone. It's the next day and I have the two different bagels here. This is the one that is made like I always make my bagels and this is just the stuff that I made yesterday. That's just flour, water, salt and starter. So we're going to cut into them and we're going to try them. This is the regular. Okay. And this is the one we made yesterday. So it's got bigger holes and it's just overall lighter which like by like a tiny bit makes sense because this has butter in it as well and a lot of flour okay we're gonna put a little bit of butter on each of them okay regular That is also pretty good. Honestly, there's not much difference. This tastes great. It's a little bit thinner, but sometimes those ones turn out thinner anyway. This one's a little bit more fresh because I just made it yesterday, but they're pretty much the same. So if you don't want to use the extra ingredients, I think it's really up to what you want to do i don't know how this recipe would be if you just don't do the stretching folds and just leave it i don't think it would turn out as good i could be wrong um because that recipe the regular bagel recipe you just mix it all together and you just let it sit for eight hours at room temperature and then put it in the fridge and then you can take it out the next day so it's very hands-off but you also have to get your mixer dirty and then you have to wash that and all that stuff. That's what I didn't want to do. And since I was making bread anyway, I was just, you know, going to do it by hand. But then the next day, you have to wash the bowls anyway. So really, it's up to you. They're pretty much exactly the same. But, you know, this is this actually turned out really good. And it's so easy. You don't have to use other ingredients. It's... Super simple.